All right, well, we've got some plans to do something today, and I got the doctor here that's going to help me. Um, we're going to do a little controversial thing that m some people agree with, some people don't. We don't really have an opinion on it. We just think uh, if we can save some money, we're going to do it, right? That's not only saving money, but uh, alleviate some of the hassle of changing tires more often. Right, so what we're doing is we're going to dark side my Bergman. Um, Wes had done it before on his and he had a clearance issue. So that's that's the major issue that he ran into basically handling wise and everything. It was good, right? See, I took it probably about a good 500 miles before I got home. And what I found is I had a little bit of rubbage right up in the fender. And I was concerned that it might have rubbed a hole all the way into the box. But that doesn't mean it would have. But uh, we, we did find a little smaller tire a little, little smaller, a little narrower, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so I think it might alleviate that problem, so that's going to be our test today. Yep, so we're moving to the dark side. We're also going to show you how to remove a rear tire on a 2012 Suzuki Bergman 650. So so what we've done here is uh, we stuck a jack under it on, on the swing arm, and we stuck a board on the jack stand. The reason we used a jack is because it's pretty difficult to get that jack stand up if you're using the board. Uh, trust me, we learned from our own experience. Also, I wanted to go over kind of the tire that we got for this. This is a Federal. Uh, it's a 155-65R14. So this was a smaller tire that I found and uh, was able to order it. And I think, what did we pay for them? 70 bucks, I think. So. 70 bucks for this. Um, like I said, it's a car tire, but you're, you're bound to get a lot more mileage out of this. You may or may not agree with us on this, but we're just gonna give it a shot and see how it handles and, and we'll show you how it works. All right, so what we're, we're gonna do, go ahead, Wes, we're gonna, we're taking this off. Well, we're gonna pull the caliper off first. If we, if we, we think we need to pull the caliper off, we're not sure, but we're gonna, we're gonna give that a well, shot. Well, I think so, because once we pull this nut off. You can see there's a spacer right here. Right, and then this has to come forward to drop off to get it out of the, the hub area. Yeah, and so that's where we're heading now. All right, so where we are right now is we've got, we took the cover off. This is the shaft. And uh, right there, you can see there's two spacers. Flange is facing out on the outside spacer, and then the other spacer is just a smooth spacer. So we're, we're actually, we got the nut off, which is right there, nut and washer. And now we're gonna kind of slide this shaft out and uh, see where that puts us. So now here comes the shaft. There goes the spacers. There's one spacer dropped. And uh, so you can see that shaft pulls out. Okay, the, the shaft is out, you can see. Okay, so there's the axle shaft right there. And we're gonna see where this puts us now. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull that caliper off. We're gonna pull the caliper off now and a couple other little goodies so we can slide that wheel over. All right, we're, well, we got, we got this thing finally off, the caliper. The caliper was a bear. It needs to clear this wheel, and it's really a tight fit. So we found that taking this emergency brake cable off was the way to do it. So we just remove these two studs, and then you're able to square this caliper up with the rim, because if it's at an angle in any sort of way, it's gonna bind up on this rim here. So just work with it, be patient, and it should come off, right, Wes? He did. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> oh, I got my pillow <laughs> here. His pillow there. Wes is gonna pull that shaft out and hopefully the tire will actually come off now. Okay, shaft is out again and we're dropping this tire down. You gotta slide it over and it should fall right out of there as it is. And she's out. Wow, there you go. So let's do a little comparison size wise. Wow. There's a, a bit of a difference, but you figure you split that in half when it comes to... Uh, well, you gotta remember, this is up too. Yeah, so... That's worn down. So, yeah, I think it's gonna work. I think we're gonna get clearance on that. Don't you, Wes? Yeah, Width-wise? Like actually, the width might even be a little narrower on that car tire. Uh, once once it gets mounted, I think it's gonna pull, pull the height down a little bit too. 
See, mine was more squared off, and it was probably a little bit wider. Yeah. And that's, it was just the very edge that was uh, Yeah, and we, and we know for a fact, height-wise, that your tire was taller, too. Right. So Taller and wider. Taller and wider. So we're, we're keeping our fingers crossed on this one. Now it's to the tire shop, and we'll let you know how it goes. Well, I think the dark siding of this tire is a success. What do you think, Wes? Well, what are your I, final thoughts? Well, we had a lot what of do you, hey, No, I just want to know what your final thoughts are. Don't interrupt me. I'm not done talking. Well, I was going to say that you look real nice. Thank you. And See, he's always nice to me on camera. That's always what it is. So all you guys that feel sorry for him, anyhow. There's no way to fake it, Larry. Go there's ahead. No way to just go it. ahead. Um, I would say it was a success. There's no rubbage. We had both of us on the back of this. Scooter. You should have seen that. That was a cute, <laughs> cute, cute thing. But uh, yeah, what are you, 290? I mean, no, what are you, 200? 200. So 200 and some change. Uh, 200 for him and, and uh, 165 for me. <laughs> Is that three bills? <laughs> I'm 183 pounds, and so us combined, that's that's quite a bit of weight, and he was jumping up and down on the back, and we didn't get any rubbish, so I'm going to give that a thumbs up. So anyhow, all I have to say is we're just men in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and that's it.